beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three levels sounds. Let us begin. Okay, this reading is a little bit different. This is about what your guides need you to know. So let us see what comes up for you. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What message would you like to send them? What do they need to know for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? Can you please guide them? What are they meant to know? What are they meant to see for their highest good? Okay. So, okay, uh, they want me to go one more. Normally I do three, but they're asking for a third, uh, sorry, a fourth one. Thank you so much. Um, ooh, okay. Now, um, we will read all the cards uh, once uh, they all come out for you, just so you're aware. Um, but what I, I feel straight away, I mean, I, mean, I don't want to state the cliche, but, you know, uh, Pisces energy, very much a dreamer energy kind of uh, yearning is something that you do uh, uh, tend to have within your soul. And those cards are coming up. So um, let's see what comes out there. But we've got the Hermit energy. Um, so it's not that you're alone or a loner. It's that you're, you've got a lot of wisdom. You've got a lot of emotional maturity is what they're showing me here. Uh, and sometimes... Um, we got the Hierophant there. Uh, we've also got the Death card as well, okay? Um, oh, they, no, I thought they, they just said, and go on. I thought they meant go on with this deck, but they meant with this one, so let us go on. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels, can you please? Uh, we've got the Ace of Wands, uh, we've got the Seven of Cups, we've got the King of Cups, and we've got the Two of Wands. Now they're showing me, uh, sometimes you have moments of indecision uh, in your life, but we will get to that in a moment, and they want one more, okay? So we got the Ten of Wands. So you tend to take on a lot of responsibility sometimes and feel a little bit overburdened with the responsibilities because you don't want to let anyone down, okay, is what is coming out as well. But we'll get to that when we get to it. Now the first card we have here, this is a beautiful deck. It is the El Key Oracle deck there by Melanie Delon and Arwen uh, Lynch Poe. Now each card in this deck is a feminine character and it does say she who yearns, but I'm going to use the one who yearns, okay? Because male or female, not a gender specific reading. I read just energy, okay? So it says yearn, longing, pine for, desire or desiree uh, is this uh, character's name. Uh, so I feel uh, they're trying to indicate here that, you know, you have that wonderful romantic soul, okay? So Pisces, they're indicating that uh, there is a romanticism about you. Um, you know, you enjoy that world and that realm of fantasy. And that's, a lot of people may say that's negative, especially when we're growing up, they're like, oh, they live in their head, they're a fantasist, all of those things. As you mature, you start to realize that actually uh, manifestation is exactly that. What you think about, you bring about. So everything that ever gets created, whether it's artistic, whether it is uh, practical, uh, it all starts with an idea. And an idea is a fantasy. It is something that you bring to life. So Pisces, you are the perfect co-creator with spirit. You actually have the power to connect to your dreams, your goals, your wishes, um, and you know activate them. So you're very, very powerful in that respect. And society may have in some way, especially when you were younger and as you grew older, um, maybe tried to uh, oppress you in that way and say, oh, don't be a dreamer or, you know, all of those things. Don't listen to those people. Your your dreams have value and vision. I mean, the Ace of Wands indicates how creative you are, how passionate you are. Um, and 
but there is a deep yearning in your soul, whether that is for love, whether that is for passion, whether that is for artistic endeavor. Um, I feel this is about you you know, leading with your heart, leading with your emotions and allowing yourself to dream. You're the big dreamer of the, the zodiac, which is perfect. Um, also, we've got, this figure here is looking at the moon energy. So I feel this is about you, um, you know, connecting to your intuition. And also, even in moments of uncertainty, you have the power to uh, navigate your way to success is what they're, because you listen to your intuition, you listen to your heart. Uh, don't ever doubt it. Okay, sometimes you may feel like you're not lucky, uh, but they're indicating here that you are actually, um, there is a lot of luck coming towards you. Uh, there is going to be a lot of um, moments of lucky breaks, which give you a lot of choices. But then when you are given choices in the world, um, then you may start to get in your head with a bit of analysis paralysis and feel like you don't know which um, decision to make. So sometimes a little bit of indecision creeps on in here. They want you to be aware, trust that heart of yours, trust that intuition, because it will not lead you astray, okay? Um, but if you've ever felt throughout of your whole life, you're always yearning or longing, that is the state that you tend to naturally have, that longingness, that um, you may always feel like the bigger quest. You're asking the bigger questions, philosophical questions like, why am I here? Um, what is my purpose? And the thing that you yearn for, there will be a lucky uh, turn of events and it brings you exactly what you hope for. Your heart's desire will be matched, but they're indicating don't take on too much in the world. You know, uh, and again, don't shoot the messenger when I say this. Sometimes um, because you have such a beautiful, open, loving heart and you're so supportive of people and you're so sensitive, sometimes people um, take advantage of that. Uh, some people may also say that you're too sensitive, for example. Don't ever listen to those people. Uh, you know, a lot of people, if you think about it like this, and this is what they're showing me right now, a lot of people pay a lot of money to go to therapists and things like that to connect to their emotions, to be more open and vulnerable, and you've got it as a natural state. So embrace that about you. It is your superpower, okay? Um, also, you may uh, find yourself being very uh, creative. You're someone who, you know, uh, relishes in music, in the flow of things. Um, I feel like a lot of you, especially when you're working, they're indicating um, listening to music actually helps you uh, get lost in that world and work goes really quickly if you uh, sort of allow music to sort of take hold, especially if you're in a job where you feel there's a repetitive um, cycle or work, um, you know, routine that you, you feel like uh, rather than, you know, suck the life out of your soul because it's routine, uh, I feel like music is, they're indicating music is, um, oh my gosh, thank you so much, I'm so grateful. Uh, they just gave me a quote from Shakespeare, actually. Um, so, and it's, if music be the food of love, play on. Okay, that again, that indicates to your romantic soul. I mean, um, I cannot tell you what uh, sign Shakespeare was. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm, sh I I'm more or less positive that Romeo was probably a Pisces. Uh, but anyway, I I'll have to check that up. I'm not really sure about it. But they're giving me that as an indicator of your romantic soul and the, the beauty and love for all the things that you want to see in the world. And you strive really hard to achieve that in your world. Now, you may often feel uh, with that hermit energy, you know, the hermit doesn't always have to indicate that you're alone, okay, or that you're in a solitary energy. What it actually indicates is wisdom, okay? And because you have such a romantic, beautiful idea of what life should be, sometimes the world may make you feel a little bit jaded because you can see that, um, you can see the beauty in the world, but other people cannot sometimes. And, you, you know, that tends to uh, reflect on your energy because you're an empath. You absorb a lot of energy. So the hermit actually goes into the cave when they're feeling a little bit jaded with the world. So because you you allow yourself to dream and then you look at the reality, sometimes it makes you feel a little bit like sorrowful is what they're indicating here. But you have come to this lifetime with a lot of wisdom and a lot of emotional maturity. Embrace it. The Hermit also indicates um, sometimes you need to take a little bit of a step back and, uh, you know, um, take a little bit of time out for you because I feel like you overburden yourself sometimes wanting to um, help people or wanting to be, you know, uh, for example, you're always the sort of person who would volunteer to help somebody or um, you want, you don't like to disappoint people because you're such a wonderful person. Uh, so they just say, in just be mindful of over committing yourself to people and situations because sometimes it leaves you with a little bit of 
less energy for yourself. So they want you to take that time out for yourself and rejuvenate your energy. The hermit energy is withdrawal, okay? Sometimes it's good to spend some time by yourself in nature, um, but they're indicating it's almost like you're the great pilgrimage uh, or the, you're the great pilgrim of uh, the zodiac where you want to embrace everything that life has to offer and absorb it and really understand it, process it and love it. Um, and yeah, they're just giving me the, the, this philosophical thought process that goes along with you, my beautiful Pisces, about your place in the world, okay? Hmm, okay, they said something here. I don't really understand it. Um, don't shoot the messenger if this is not something that's very nice. I'm not really sure. Um, they just said navel gazing. Navel gazing. So I don't really know what that means. I'm going to have to look that up. Navel gazing. Navel is your... Um, it's your belly button, right? <laughs> you, uh, yeah, so I'm guessing perhaps this is about where you, where you come from. Or, uh, you know, because if I think about the, nas the navel area, that's where, you know, the cord... Um, is cut, for example, the umbilical cord. Um, so maybe this is about you, your interest in history, perhaps, of where, you, you know, the ancient history, not just your lineage, but maybe you've got a real thirst for uh, history in some way or um, the beginning of civilization. Perhaps that's something that really interests you. That's just coming out here for you. Uh, they're also indicating with this card that you're very resilient. Uh, you have, a, although you're very sensitive, you're very resilient. Uh, it takes a very strong person to be able to navigate those emotions. So, you know, as I said, a lot of people pay a lot of money to therapists and things like that to be able to get into the state that you're naturally born in, okay? The bear represents a lot of endurance, so you're very, very strong. Perhaps you've had to be strong from when you were a uh, very young age. Um, but they're indicating you have great resilient powers of healing, not just to yourself, my beautiful Pisces, but to others as well. You're naturally a very healing person, a very nurturing person. Uh, also, you like to inspire others because they're highlighting the star. It's interesting, you inspire others, but sometimes um, you know you feel a little bit of despair within yourself. So even when you're at your lowest ebb, you still like to try and raise other people up. Spirit wants you to indicate, well, they're indicating that they want you to be aware or your guides want you to be aware that you do not walk alone. Okay, that they are with you every step of the way and that you are capable of great success and um, inspiration. But just make, they're just indicating a little bit of focus. Okay, take some time out from distractions because you like to embrace the world and everything it has to offer. So if you're focusing on, for example, a project over here and then all of a sudden something really wonderful and beautiful is over here, you may be a little bit distracted or sidetracked momentarily. So just be aware of focus when it comes to uh, things that you really want to achieve. For example, that's just coming out there. Uh, Ace of Wands, very, very creative person. You've got a lot of talent, okay? You're naturally very talented in whatever field you feel called to work in. This is a card of brilliance. This is a card of being really sparky in the world, that your visions have value and that you're called to adventure. You have a lot of um, you know, initiative. Uh, the thing that you long for, uh, you, you're willing to go after it and achieve it and be successful in it, okay? Um, the Ace of Wands also is, uh, you know, you being fully supported in your imagination. Whatever you you uh, see in the mind you can have in your hand. You're daring. You're willing to go after whatever it is that you want to achieve and make it happen. Remember to dream big because you are the biggest dreamer in the zodiac and that is um, something that will take you very, very far in life. Whatever you want, um, you are you're going to achieve. Also, you're really good at uh, turning new chapters is what they're indicating because they're highlighting the book and this person um, turning a chapter and it blossoming. So, you're really good at that uh, turning new chapters and being quite flexible, especially since you're a water element, my beautiful Pisces. But they're showing me how uh, creative and talented you are, how um, successful you're going to be. Um, and it's all about, because you've got a lot of commitment, you've got a lot of drive and uh, ambition as well. Uh, just because you're a water element and you, know, you are very sensitive doesn't mean you don't have that passion, that drive, that uh, intense, um, Sort of ambition to want to achieve. Sometimes you may feel a little bit restless though um, because uh, sometimes you have very high expectations because you are the dreamer and when you feel like you fall short of whatever it is you're trying to set out to do, you may feel like you're not lucky or that timing is not right or that it's never going to happen. Um, Spirit's indicating it will happen for you. Don't lose hope, okay? Um, 
Now, oh my gosh, <laughs> the next card is actually uh, the one who hopes. So they're really indicating that um, that's a really great uh, sort of lead on to this card. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this character here, beautiful character, she's sitting on a bridge. Okay, so, you know, I feel like this is again about dreaming, hoping, um, because water represents the big dreams in life, in the peaceful dream. You seek peace. You don't want the drama in life. You're the sort of person, um, you're very good as well at, you know, creating a bridge over troubled water. You try and find that um, midway point. You're very fair. It says love, hope, and relationships. This is where you thrive. Love, hope and relationships and you know achieving your goals and your dreams so if you felt if you're for example if you're in a solitary energy right now and you haven't found um the person of your dreams they, they're indicating here that um sometimes there's a spark between you and a person and it doesn't quite get off the ground is what they're showing me here um and actually it's all about timing because it may be that you haven't found the right person uh, but sometimes you may overgive in these um now this came up recently in uh, one of the readings, uh, I can't remember which sign it was for, um, but they're indicating sometimes um, you may idolize a partner. When you fall in love with someone or you think, oh, this is this is someone who could be um, part of my, my future, um, you may look up to them and you know idolize them a little bit. You may put them on a little bit of a pedestal because they're the great love that you've been looking for. Remember, when you do that, you're putting yourself below them, okay, because so you're looking up. So just be aware of the power shift uh, that you may not even be conscious of. You know, whenever we fall in love with someone, we think they're the best thing since sliced bread, okay? They're really attractive, the chemistry is off the charts. We fall completely into that sort of like depth of feeling for a person. And sometimes because we look at our own faults, we feel like, why are they with us? Uh, what, what do they see in us? Or we idolize them to the point where we put them on this pedestal. Remember, they're human just like you, and we should all be in a reciprocal balance energy. Easier said than done, I know, but they just want you to be aware of that, okay? Um, also, Spirit's indicating that you're very, very attractive, and you're very passionate, and a lot of people actually look at you. You, you do actually have the pick of the bunch when it comes to love, but you may not see that, okay? Because they're indicating here that... Um, during moments of solitude, you may focus on your career, or you may focus heavily on, uh, you know, things that, you know, like your hobbies, things that you're passionate about. And I feel you're not even aware that actually people are looking at you. I, I, I'm going to pull a card on that and see why that's coming through. Um, maybe it's you, you, you're quite modest. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? The lovers in the reverse. Uh, perhaps you've been disappointed in love before when you were younger, and you know they're indicating here that um, you know you've made some bad choices. So you, it's almost like either you feel like you've stopped looking for love, or you feel like um, that it sort of puts you out of sync in some way to be looking for love. You feel like the great love should uh, arrive in divine timing. Uh, you know, it's almost like. You're waiting for the love at first sight kind of energy. So unless you see it right in front of your eyes, you don't actually see anybody looking at you. Um, the lovers in the reverse also can tell me that perhaps there's someone that you separated from that is, is in some way um, made you fearful of getting into relationships because the Seven of Cups can be about commitment issues, okay? Uh, or you tend to um, attract people who've got commitment issues and that's they're indicating that you will emotionally uh, mature as you get older and you'll recognize that perhaps you've been doing a lot of overgiving in these relationships and you've got to notice the red flags because they're there, but uh, we all, I mean, we all go through it when there's a red flag. We kind of look at it and go, hmm, okay, that didn't sit really well with me, but you know, maybe it's a one-off. I'll give that person another chance. And then the, the further we go into a relationship, the deeper we fall into love. And then, you know, we start to, you know, they, the sentence is not love is blind for a reason, right? For no reason. Uh, we just tend to not notice sometimes the bad things about people. And it's not really bad per se. It's more like little negative traits that we feel hmm, don't really vibe with us. Because you're a water element and I'm a Scorpio, so I'm a water element too. Sometimes we tend to go with the flow and sort of fit into places that we feel like perhaps we shouldn't really be fitting into, but we do. We bend for others, okay? If, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Sometimes, um, because we want everything to be like 
free and easy and just like quiet life, peaceful, but we want the passion, of course. So sometimes we start to mold ourselves into or merge ourselves into the other person's energy as well. We absorb energy. So uh, I hope that makes sense in some way, but it's, I feel like it's taught you about feeling very resistant towards getting into relationships. If you're already in a relationship, uh, I feel like, you know, there's moments where you may feel misunderstood or uh, you may feel a little bit um, emotionally more mature than your partner, for example. But I feel like this is something that you will transform in your relationship and it will become a very beautiful and blossoming relationship. But just make sure you don't always have to try and overcompensate for things. Let them just sit and settle. Things will work out uh, in your favor. Now, we've also got the Wheel of Fortune here, which indicates everything is on divine timing. And for someone who yearns, Okay, and you want something, you want something now, the yearning becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, and especially when things happen in divine timing, um, we start to wish away our life. For example, we're always wishing it was tomorrow. We all, we're always wishing it was in the past with that person that we fell in love with many years ago. So Spirit's indicating to try and live a little bit more in the present, my beautiful Pisces, just because um, that gives you more opportunity and more choice. Um, also, the Wheel of Fortune indicates actually uh, you're going to be very, very lucky, okay? Uh, this is the cycle of change and possibilities. You're brimming with potential and there's a lot of opportunities open to you to achieve your wishes. We've got the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups, you know, whilst it can be about, you know, commitment issues or it can be about a lot of choice, uh, it's actually about the imagination, using your imagination to create your destiny. Uh, you know, in the traditional right away tarot, there's lots of, well, the seven cups filled with lots of different items in those cups, a victory wreath, uh, riches, snakes, you know, it's all about our choices and what we visualize, we bring to life, okay? And because you've got such a connected, um, imagination they really want you to be aware of not catastrophizing things by saying like oh i'm unlucky or uh, whenever i get into a relationship it always goes wrong or they always cheat on me or i don't want a liar you know don't focus on the negative things because the universe doesn't understand the the, the sort of words that you're giving they, it understands the feeling that goes with those words so if for example and i'm only just giving this as an example someone cheated on you in the past and you're like I don't want someone who cheats. I want someone who's honest. I want all those things. The energy that's coming is the hurt and the anger from that's left over a little bit from the past situation. But if you're like, you know what? I deserve a love that is incredible, that is romantic, that is nurturing and kind. And I just want to be loved up by that person as much as all the love I have to offer that person. And we raise each other up. The energy is completely different. Okay, so it's all about that intention of energy. Just be mindful of that is what they're indicating. I mean, there are a lot of opportunities coming towards you that are going to elevate you towards your dreams and you're capable of making your dreams happen, okay? Um, it's just about, just be a little bit mindful of sometimes a little bit of negativity or um, catastrophizing, popping on in there. Um, it happens to all of us, okay, Pisces. So I'm not push, uh, you know, pointing a finger at you. We all get into those moments of feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. Uh, but they're indicating if we can be as positive as possible. I'm not saying you have to be one of those people who are like super positive every day and smiling all the time whilst their life is crumbling behind them. That's 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 putting a plaster over something. I'm not talking about that. I'm like being grateful for what you got right now and being grateful for everything that is yet to come that is awesome and it is coming. There's a lot of awesome things coming for you, okay? Also, a um, little bit of indecision, so um, coming through, and again, I, I picked that up with the water elements as well, Cancerians and also Scorpios. Um, just trust your intuition. You've got it there for a reason. It is your superpower. Um, now, interesting, we have, um, you're someone who has a lot of warrior spirit. You're, you're capable of achieving anything you set out to do, but you may have felt like it's been a bit of a struggle in life. You've battled away because uh, they're showing me wounded warrior energy number. Uh, well, it, the card has not come up for you, but they're showing me the nine of wands. Even though you got the ten of wands there in the water, they're showing me the nine of wands. So I feel like everything you've ever achieved in your life has been hard won. You fought for it until you, you get it. And they're indicating that you're someone who never gives up. And they love that about you, okay? They love it so much. Um, and it says here, um, the one who regrets... And it says battle, victory, and bitterness. Now it's interesting because as soon as I say the one who regrets, I hear a voice saying nothing. 
So either you are listening to this reading and as soon as I've said the one who regrets and you're like nothing, I don't regret nothing. Okay, if that's you, there's definitely something, pick, I'm picking something up on this um, in, through the energy. Um, but battle, victory, bitterness. So I feel like they're indicating that you'll have many battles in life. Pick them wisely. We all win sometimes and we all lose sometimes. That's the cycle of life. And I feel they want you to be aware of that disappointment, to just let it go and let it flow. Imagine it like you're that water, you are a water element. So imagine it putting it in what putting it in the water, put the disappointment in the water and just let it just dissipate out of your life because you don't need to carry that baggage in your world. Okay. Um, but you're the sort of person who fights the good fight, okay? You care about people, you care about the world, you wanna make the world a better place. And I feel sometimes there's this jaded energy where you feel some of the battles are too big and you're only a little person. But actually remember, as long as you, you know, are the best you can be, the best person or the best version of yourself that you can be in your patch of the world, you're making a difference because, um, you know, I just want to say this, okay, a lot of people, I see all the comments through the, the boxes in the comments box below, and they're like, wow, this really resonates with my situation. And then there'll be one person who's like, wow, I'm looking at all these comments and everybody is resonates with their situation. If this does not tell you that we are all one consciousness, we are all one in love, then I don't know how else to sort of describe it to people because we are all affecting each other with our energy. We are, you know, energy is transferred, it never dies. So the things that you're experiencing and the way that you deal with it actually has like a ripple effect throughout energy and it is like a knock-on effect. So we are all one. And Pisces, out of uh, a lot of the signs, you do realize that because of your sensitive nature, okay? So I feel to have any bitterness or any anxiety or anger about things that do not go in your favor, you carry that and you change that patch of your world briefly. So, you know, you, you hear of lots of people saying the conscious awakening or the conscious rising of energy. That's about people sort of seeing through the narratives that we're given and recognizing that love is the common denominator that sort of keeps us all connected. And um, I know that sounds very, very woo woo and everything like that, but I feel um, you're someone who understands that love is the key to um, leading a really positive life. But there's always a but, okay? Because people who tend to be good people, who tend to be uh, very emotional and very open and vulnerable with their emotions, which is a, a strength, not a weakness, uh, sometimes um, they go out of their way to help people even at detriment to themselves. So I feel like it's about learning healthy boundaries of how to use your love and your care um, in a way that you know also benefits you. So if you feel like you're always the sort of person who is committing yourself or over committing yourself in relationships or, um, and by that I mean, if you're always the one who's doing all the legwork, you're always the one who tidies the house, you're always the one who is bringing in the, the money, um, you're always the one giving the love in the relationship and you feel like it's never reciprocated then there needs to be a, a you know an exchange there needs to be some sort of shift in the balance of the relationship always there's going to be different moments where one partner leads and the other one does not um you know so it'll be a give and take but if you don't feel a give and take in relationships uh, work situations or friendships then you've got to ask yourself what are you getting out of the situation? How is it enhancing your life? So just be aware of that. Now, they're showing me that you have a lot of dedication, okay? And that faith will actually transform your life because sometimes there is a moment where you doubt everything. And they want you to be aware that faith will take you to where you want to go. Faith will see you rising from the ashes like that phoenix um, with that uh, death card there. So um, I feel also you have... It's almost like you have knowledge built in that you don't even know where it comes from. You just know things. Um, as a water element, you have a lot of empathy. You understand the human psyche on a different level. And if you feel something, trust it because it will not lead you astray. They want you to cultivate your world uh, to make it healthier in terms of your relationships, your situations, because they want you to blossom. They want you to thrive. The death card is all about transformation and your dedication, your hard work will transform your life. You will achieve the happiness that you set out to in this lifetime is what they're indicating. But make sure that, you know, as you can see that cockerel there has got a scythe that's willing to cut things out that are no longer necessary or impede growth in, you know, healthy growth in life. So. You know, whilst it's hard to let go of some things or some people in life that 
maybe have been holding you back or maybe you feel is stunting your personal growth in some way, then, you know, have the courage to let them go and let them flow. You know, we can actually have like a graceful ending or we can have a natural ending, which brings a silver lining because it brings something greater, something better into our world. And that's what's happening for you. Okay. Uh, we've also got um, the one who avenges. Revenge outcomes justice. Okay. So sometimes, especially when, uh, you know, things, for example, um, if a relationship does not go your way or a friendship, you know, if someone does you a bad turn, for example, um, I do feel like you watch and wait. You may see that a little bit. You may not want to physically enact any sort of uh, revenge, but I feel justice is important to you, okay? Truth and justice is important to you. And I feel like you're willing to wait or watch and wait until that person achieves it. You know what, my beautiful Pisces? I can't ever imagine any of my beautiful Pisces energy friends um, you know, taking revenge in any area of their life. So, um, the one who regrets. So I feel like it's because those cards, they just said they were meant to be hand in hand together. So what they're indicating here is that sometimes you may regret not taking revenge on some situations, or um, you may regret the shoulda, coulda, woulda conversations. Like, I wish I told that person that they were a total MF. You know, I wish I'd done that. Don't, don't wish your life away. Those people, they don't deserve a place in your world anymore. You're just wasting your beautiful energy that you could be placing it elsewhere to enhance your life and the enjoyment of it, okay? So don't regret not taking revenge on situations. I'm just gonna pull the card because I feel like this is about you. There's something, yeah, this is like you, you feel like you, sometimes there's situations where you wish you came out of your comfort zone and, you know, showed a person or a situation, your anger or um, how much they hurt you and things like that, but you may actually withdraw naturally. I mean, you're not a pushover, my beautiful Pisces. You're a peacekeeper, okay? You come in peace. You love in peace. You're not someone who's out there for revenge. So don't be um, regretting those uh, but scenarios. But every time I say the word regret, I just get nothing. So uh, that word nothing. So... Um, also, because we've got the Page of Wands in reverse as well, it can mean that sometimes you feel like you want to enact revenge on a certain circumstance, but it will be out of boredom. You know, it's, it's almost like find another outlet for your energy uh, because it will just bring you karmic debt, okay? And karma always visits us at the right time, but in the wrong time for us. It's when we least expect it. But I can't imagine you would ever want to seek revenge on anybody okay now we got the king of cups beautiful loving heart you as i said you're a peacekeeper you're someone who's diplomatic you're generous with your time you're very fair and being gentle is not a weakness you're a good listener you're very strong the most uh, openly sensitive people are the most strong people that i you know you can come across um you, you deserve respect you 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 actually um have a lot of people who do respect you and actually a lot of people who see you as very passionate, loving, and um, but they may see you as sometimes, I don't know, because there's an energy here of you being very handsome or beautiful, and sometimes people always think that you've got lots of choice, and you do, but you don't see that. So there may be sometimes people want to get in a relationship with you, but they, ha they hesitate because they feel like you could have the pick of the bunch, or you've got other people. Uh, maybe it's because you're so wonderfully open with people and so friendly and loving and kind that people misconstrue, um, you know, you being nice as being flirtatious and things like that. Um, with the King of Cups, they're also indicating you have a lot of charisma, okay? So when people have a lot of charisma and like that, um, they, they feel like there's a, people are attracted to them naturally, and that's what's happening, Pisces. A lot of people are actually very attracted to you. And you may not see this, but I feel like, Sometimes people misconstrue that as charm. They may say, oh, you're so smooth, or you know, um, you're just being your wonderful, natural, authentic self, so don't ever change that about you. Um, you're someone who's very sympathetic. You're always willing to help people. And sometimes um, they're indicating with that 10 of wands that you overburden yourself. Okay, 10 of wands is like, um, you know, you overcommit yourself to situations. I mean, the King of Cups, as you can see, uh, you are, King of Cups is all about love. 
and that's what you're about. Even though this is a Scorpio energy right there, it's still a water element. I feel like you're waiting because they've got the two of wands there. You're waiting for the great love in life. You're yearning for the great love. Why sail a small ship in love when you're waiting for the big one? So I feel like you're looking for that epic love story that you could tell to your grandchildren, things like that. Um, and in divine timing, the right one will come if you're not uh, already in a relationship. And if you um, are in a relationship, you know what it took to get yourself into that relationship in the first place. Uh, it took a lot of like kissing frogs or perhaps uh, waiting until the right moment. Um, but they're indicating a desire to be wild and free as well. We've got the two of wands and this is the only thing. Spirit want you to know that you have permission. You have the permission to do whatever it is you want to do in your world. You have the permission to be whoever you want to be as well. Give yourself that permission because the Two of Wands is a waiting card, okay? And um, it, because we've got the Seven of Cups here and the Two of Wands, it tells me about a little bit of indecision, okay? Um, also, the Two of Wands is about creating or plan for the future. Uh, you know, it's wonderful to dream, but make sure you've got a plan uh, that is actually attached to that so you can ground your dreams to make them a reality. When you've got this card here, it is about aligning yourself to bring you what you need. So even during moments of waiting, uh, you always make sure that you're secure, for example, but in moments of waiting, I feel like you're still mapping your progress. You're still making progress. You're still visualizing what you're setting out to do. And I feel your passion and you've got it in spades there with an ace of wands, your passion will actually uh, attract everything you need in life, okay? Um, and again, that 10 of wands, um, sometimes, you know, when it's, when something's come to an end, let it go, let it flow. Allow it to leave your life so that you can make way for new beginnings, okay? This is about releasing the excess, uh, releasing the burden. Uh, that's something that they really want you to do, my beautiful Pisces, because you're a water element, you know? You're meant to go with the flow. You don't need to be bogged down in life. And, and be just a little bit mindful of, as I said, over committing yourself to people, you know, if you're always a person who, if someone says, oh, I need help, you're like, I'll be there. And then another person says, oh, I need help. And on the same day, you try and help the two people on the same day and you'd be exhausted at the end of the day and never get anything that you wanted to do. So just be mindful of that, um, that over giving potential. Uh, you can say no sometimes is, and you can say no in a very nice way where it's like, I would love to help you out today, but unfortunately I'm helping uh, someone else uh, do this. But if you've got another day, I'll be there. You know, you can do it in a different way. You're not letting someone down. So just be mindful, you know, um, of that propensity to feel like if you don't give your time, your energy or your advice in certain circumstances that you're letting someone down you're not okay uh you're they know you they know your heart they know that you are so good and so pure that they wouldn't look at you in that way okay um now i'm gonna get some final cards um they're showing me how much success that it's going to be in your lifetime and that you're going to be very very fortunate they just want you to be aware of let go of situations that are weighing you down or don't feel good for your soul the ones that make you feel super tired where you're not gaining anything from it if your soul, your heart, your passion doesn't feel good, doesn't feel inflamed in a situation, then ask yourself, what are you getting out of it, okay? Uh, also, be mindful that there are going to be lucky breaks coming your way, uh, and everything that you're yearning for will show up in your world. Sometimes things will show up in your world that are not exactly as you visualize it, but that doesn't mean it's not going to, um, you know, it can be even better. So it's like, don't be dismissive of opportunity just because it didn't show up in the way. Oh, that's a powerful one. Okay, thank you so much. I'm sure grateful. And I'm just going to go get that uh, stone. Uh, one moment, please, because I, I don't like the fact that it's on the floor. It is a jade stone, okay? And they're telling, the card that came out is protection. So, I mean, I would normally... I would normally indicate that things like um, black tourmaline or black obsidian is good for uh, protecting your energy, but jade is uh, something will bring a lot of good luck and a lot of success, okay? So perhaps uh, jade is something that you've been called to, uh, but I would get some. I'm not here to sell anything, but you can get some from your local store, uh, so check that out uh, and have it about your person. Uh, it will increase your luck, especially if you feel like sometimes uh, you're born under an unlucky star. They're indicating you have not been. Uh, it's just they want you to experience all options so you get really clear. You're the sort of person who's going to get real clear um, about your career path 
and you're going to uh, sort of streamline and, and sort of take out any other distractions and you're going to be very successful. Also, traveling will enhance your soul, okay? Adventure, things like that. So the first card you got here is dragon, supernatural. You are an ancient wise sage. You can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity, okay? As I was talking about, you know, sometimes we sort of fit into situations that we feel like we probably shouldn't do, you know, because you are a water element, you are a shapeshifter in your energy. So sometimes you absorb a lot of people's energy and you may be like, you may feel great for the day and then walk out, go down into the city or whatever. Then by the end of the afternoon, you're like, I feel so angry. I don't even know why. Uh, it's because you're absorbing a lot of energy. Um, and, you know, being good at what you do, being the master of your craft is something that is your destiny. So if you feel like you have a calling um, and you feel compelled to really focus on it and nothing else will do, then remember that is your life purpose. Uh, embrace it. We've also got here Orca Whale. OK, and adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. Okay? So very, very important. You are surrounded with love. Absolutely. And everybody uh, around you has got your back, but so is the universe. Um, and, you know, they are indicating, you know, Embrace the big journey rather than the little journey, whether it is um, in love, whether it is in career, go big or go home, okay? It may seem daunting at first, but the right opportunities, you're aligning them with your passion and your spirit, okay? You're aligning them to come into your world. And we've also got sea turtle protection. Uh, interesting that, again, I, I did a, I mean, the dragon is of the air, but there's two water element cards that came out here for you. Uh, I did the Scorpio and the Cancerian reading, and they just always keep getting water cards. So really picking up exactly on the energy. And it says, you are master of finding life's flow. Ain't that the truth, my beautiful Pisces? Uh, it says, be in harmony with the rhythm, and your path, your path will unfold. So be in harmony with the rhythm, and your path will unfold. Preserve, no. Nope. Sorry, I'm a little bit dyslexic. It says, persevere, not preserve, per persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy, okay? So you are going to get that happy ever after. Persevere, your dedication shows me that you're someone who fights for what is right and you fight to get to where you wanna go and you will achieve that destiny as well. Um, also, I'm just gonna get some final advice cards from Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? My beautiful Pisces, what else do they need to know before we close the reading? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Can you please guide them? What are they meant to see? One more. Thank you so much, great guys, going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Okay, so we have preparation. We've got climb up the ladder, the spirit dance, and those that lie down with dogs get up with fleas. Oh dear. Okay, ain't that the truth though? <laughs> so those that lie down with dogs get up with fleas. So be aware of, uh, you know, um, what you're connecting to and the repercussions of that. It doesn't have to be that, you know, uh, in relationships or anything like that. It can mean, you know, what are you, what are you set to gain out of this situation? And if it, like for example, if it's going to end up annoying you or being a detriment to yourself, Think about it before you commit yourself to it, okay? So just be mindful of that. We've got preparation, number 13. That's that death card energy right there. Be prepared for change. It says, if you want the victory, be prepared for the fight. And you are, okay? It says, time to plan. Don't get caught off guard. So that's always about being three or four steps ahead of the game of life and always using your intuition in order to understand that. And that's something that you do intrinsically. We've got climb up the ladder. So you're destined for success in whatever area of life that you are uh, walking. Even if you're, um, you're retired right now and you're enjoying your retirement, you maybe find a hobby that you really escalate in and you feel fulfilled in. That's so important. Your heart being fulfilled is the most important. It says you're climbing the ladder of success one step at a time. Promotion, more success, improvement, raise. Okay, so these are the things that you uh, can be looking forward to. We've also got the spirit dance. And it says, life is a dance between making it happen and letting it happen. That's why you got that ten of wands. You don't always have to force it. You don't always have to, uh, you know, feel like you have to do everything. Sometimes let the universe, let the spirit come to you. So you, you'll know the moments where you need to withdraw and allow your good fortune to come to you. And then 
the moment where you need to move forward and take the initiative. And it says movement, guiding spirit, flexibility. Okay, and being a water element, that's something that is very important uh, as well, being flexible. Uh, and we've done that one, those that lie down with dogs, get up with fleas. Thank you so much, spirit guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Oh, they only want two. Normally I would give three in that scenario, but um, aha, I'm loving the card that they gave you. Okay, so the first card is I embrace change. Okay, and that is something you, you're very flexible, my beautiful Pisces. And that is one of the lessons being born a water element that we as a collective water element, because I'm Scorpio, uh, are meant to achieve in our lifetime to be a bit more flexible with change. Uh, so that is something that I feel like you're working really hard towards. And I feel like you're starting to blossom as well. Um, also, she's got her back to us. And that looks like a, you know, a hive you know, honeycomb, that sort of energy. So I feel like you work really hard sometimes to the point where you literally break your back. Um, so especially with that 10 of wands, look at that. All those beautiful flowers blossoming, they're so beautiful and it looks like an enriching sort of uh, world that she's creating, but it's breaking her back. Okay, so just know when it's time to rest and rejuvenate your energy. And I am a dreamer. Ain't that the truth? You could have got any card in that deck, but Spirit gives you the exact card that you're meant to see. And it's number 44. When you reduce it, four plus four is eight, the number of the self. So that's about strength. Have that courage to go after your dreams. You're capable of achieving them. And of course, number 20. Number 20 is the judgment card. So that is about weighing things up in life, rejuven rejuvenating your energy, okay? And being on your life's purpose path. When you're on the right path and you feel like you're in the flow, it will feel effortless, Always remember that. Now, just before we go, I'm going to get you three ruins. I just need to, I close my eyes, so I need to make sure I've got three. One, two, three, yeah. Um, okay, so the first one you've got is elk. Very interesting, okay? So that is about friendship, you being really optimistic, being loyal, someone who actually, because of your generosity of spirit, will create your fortune and good karma. It's interesting. This one keeps coming up for pretty much everybody, which is um, ice, which is static energy, feeling a little bit on pause right now. Perhaps that's because, you know, we're still going through the repercussions of the pandemic. A lot of people still feel like they're on pause in some way in their life. What energy we got coming out here? Okay, so here we've got protection. Interesting, because you've got the card of protection. Um, and they're indicating that you are protected. Okay, spirit has got your back. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is like the giant. So um, again, it's like sometimes you may feel like you've got the world on your shoulders. Release the baggage. You're protected to... Um, they just gave me the word counsel as well, counsel. I mean, some of you may be actually called to um, be in jobs that are very empathetic, you know, where you have a lot of empathy towards people. Counselors, uh, you're very understanding um, or public facing roles, perhaps, where you understand the human psyche. Um, but they're indicating, you know, it's like protect your energy is what they're showing me. Uh, but the first one here, uh, elk is about you being very uh, original. You're a good, great friend. You're someone who, um, your word is your bond. They just said your word is your bond, okay? Um, and you don't let everybody into your social circle, but they're indicating here that um, the ones that are your nearest and dearest, you would do anything for those people. You may feel also that you are in a static energy right now, you feel like you're in some sort of routine, allow yourself to dream big and to push yourself out of comfort zones in order to get to where you want to go. You're protected is what they're indicating. So um, spirit has got your back. Now I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Pisces. Uh, if you'd like to be with a chance to win a free personal reading as well, all you have to do is take a moment every morning to thank the universe. Thank the universe for everything that you have received and everything you have yet to receive because the more grateful you are, you perpetuate the cycle of uh, good things coming into your world, okay? In the comments box below, just put this sentence, I have an attitude of gratitude and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of April in a video upload only. Now in the water, they're showing me um, numbers. They're showing me uh, 1221, so 1221, uh, 1221. 
two one. So either that's the time when you listen to this reading, uh, or uh, perhaps that's a number you keep seeing frequently. It is a very um, influential number for you. Also, look up uh, what it means as an angel number. They're indicating because it may well they're saying it has relevance to your world. Okay. Um, Okay, they're just giving me a song as well. Um, all around me are familiar faces, worn out spaces, I think it says. Mad World. Okay, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Okay, so I think the song's called Mad World. I can't tell you who sings it. I'm just about to close the reading as well, so it's sort of dissipating away. But maybe that's how you feel right now, that you are such a, a bright spark in the world and that the world around you right now is a very broken place. And you're feeling that it's a crazy world that you're trying to exist in um, and you're trying really hard to see the beauty in life. Um, all will change for the positive. Keep dreaming because your energy actually helps raise the vibrations of the collective, okay? Uh, I know sometimes it doesn't feel like that, but we're all in this together to raise those vibrations and make the world a better place, okay? Uh, and that song that just came up, uh, perhaps that's something that you just heard on the radio before this uh, reading, or you'll hear it just after the reading, or it may uh, play on the radio or in someone's car or in the store um, in the next four to five weeks they're indicating there is some sort of lucky break coming for you in the next four to five weeks where something you're trying to achieve turns out perfectly and you're just really grateful. That song is an indicator that it's about to happen, okay? So look out for that. Um, I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Pisces. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel, completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.